All right, Cleveland, Tennessee. Cleveland, I, Tennessee. Listen, this blows my mind. I want, to, I want you to know this right now. Right. This facility is one of the nicest ever, I've ever seen. I appreciate it. I was that. at Liberty, Liberty, which is in uh, Columbus, Ohio. Right. That's beautiful. Oh, yeah. And then I've been, obviously, Graham's got a great room. Right. And then um, St. Ed's has got an old room, but a good room. Right. And then I think Brother Ryan has a really good room. Right. Right? right. This is the cornerstone of wrestling for Tennessee. It really is. Cleveland, Tennessee. Cleveland, Tennessee. We have Cleveland High School, and we have Bradley. And between those two, we've taken probably 90% of all state championships since the inception of wrestling in Tennessee. Is Bradley around here? Bradley's our county school. Really? And they're three miles down the road. So the so you got fierce. you got Cleveland and then you got Bradley. That duel's not in here. That that, that duel's over there. That can't be in here. It's actually over there. It's gonna it's say that's got to be in the bigger arena. But look, look, listen. And, and this is the Jones Center. Did you okay? Who who is Jones? Alan Jones is checking the cash. Mister Checking Cash. He he's the billionaire who owns Checking the Cash. He actually named this after his father. Um, and his his picture's right up here. This is his father, who he's named after. It's named after Bill A. Jones Sr. Okay. So, but Alan wrestled here. Alan wrestled here. It, his Bill oh, son. You had a billionaire that wrestled here. Yes. That's pretty impressive. And he, he did very well here. And then we've had multiple state championships. Jeez, um, Pete's. When don't you win it? Right. Well, it's either us or Bradley winning it. And, and that, okay, so, so, which we're just in like the trophy area where you put your state champs right. up, trophies, all this, runner ups, champs, singlets. Yep. Kind of the shrine. Uh, yeah. You got a really cool sculpture there of, of actually a hand being raised. Yeah. Headgear. Headgear. And the other hand being held down. Yes. But uh, okay. The legacy. Here's what's most impressive to me. This room. Yes. <laughs> this is kind of like what Cornell does. Yes. You guys do most of your dual meets in here. Obviously, you can't do the Bradley dual we, meet we in here. We can fit two full mats in here, and we do, and we practice on two full mats, so we can actually have five teams here at a time. Doing, doing a, whatever, a five. A scrimmage, scrimmage, week on scrimmages. Yeah. Wow. And then we have, and we have locker rooms. And this is wrestling only. Only wrestling. There's no baseball There's nets, no batting cages. Nothing. This is wrestling. Like, and, and then that, that is, facility over there is it's, impressive it's too. for everybody. The new Raider. Raider Arena. Raider Arena yes, is sir. incredible. Yes, sir. So wait. You got your locker rooms in here. There's your score. Yep. I love your scoring tables. Yep. Up. Welcome to the Jones Wrestling Center. Yeah. Okay, and then this is a locker room. The locker room. We got two locker rooms. And this Visitor. is our state champions wall. You know, all of our state champions going back to our first state champion at uh, in '68, Bill Emmendorfer. And then Alan Jones is right here. I was wrong. He actually got second. Alan Jones was a state runner-up. Yes. The billionaire. Yeah, the billionaire. For Cleveland, Tennessee. Yep. Yeah, this is like amazing. Yeah. Do you know that? Yes, sir. It's pretty Chris, amazing. Remember Chris Debian, who won senior nationals? How long ago? Last year. Do you have had a guy that recent yeah. win senior nationals? Yeah, he won senior nationals. He was our only four timer. Okay. Debian, got it. Yep. Right there. Yep. Yep. Chris Debian. Yep. So home and away locker rooms. Home and away I'm guessing it's JV varsity or freshman. No, it was a coach. It was it was wrestlers and coaches. Do we want to walk through there? No, nah, we'll just, okay. this is good. Cool. Um, here's my thing. My thing is, I noticed there's not a ton of wall mats. There is on this side, mm -hmm. but it's so big, you don't really need, it. need and, it. And you can actually put more mats down when you roll the bleachers oh, yeah. in. Exactly. So you could go up to like four and a half mats almost. Easily, easily. That's pretty and incredible. We push those in when we do like camps and stuff. So we have more places for kids to sleep. When you have our in season? When in, you're in, in or out season camps. In season is my question. Do those ever go in, or is that where the guys hang out before and after practice? Yes, that's where they hang out before and after practice. And normally just got three mats down? Yep. So you have a capacity for five, up to five? Easily. That's pretty incredible. It's awesome. It's an awesome facility. And then we're right, and this is a self-contained facility. This is not... This is in Cleveland, Tennessee. But it's not attached to the school? No, it's not. There's it's no administrators or anybody nothing. in here or, or cheerleaders or no, anything? No, there's, we're, it's wrestling in here 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I love this. We can, we can literally, on any given day, call up 15 kids and have them in here. 11 o'clock on a Friday night. Lock in. On a Tuesday. Camp. Camp, whatever. Whatever you want. Yep. I love it. It's awesome. We, Tell me more. We try to do as much as we can. And then we go back here. Is this coaching offices? This is actually our oh gym. Oh my God. You have a weight room too. This is, this is the Al Miller 
weight room. I'm named after our longtime uh, coach, Al Miller. He did a lot for us. But this is where so we got six, this is where, five racks. Yeah. This is where the coaches say the, the champions are really made, right? Yeah. The weight room. This is incredible. I was I thought you were gonna take me to some like room closet. Ah, ah there's the coach's no, office. And then and then um, what we do outside is even cooler. And and I think you'll appreciate this. This is something we, we do with our kids. Um, and the tracks right here if you want to yeah. No, that's baseball, but tracks behind us? Yep, yep, but check out our shrine to the to our champions. Oh that's awesome. Unreal. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And then I'll take you down this way and show you what we do for our little kids. Unreal. You're going to love this. Okay. So on, on any Friday night when, when we have football in Cleveland, Tennessee, we like to say that, you know, Cleveland, we might bring the most people in for a football game, but, but Cleveland is made by wrestlers because they've got to pass by all the state champions from high school all the way down to our youth program. On the way to the football game. On the way to the football game. So they've got to pass all these, all these smiling faces of all the state champions. This is awesome. So we got high school, we've got middle school, and then we've got our club. You've covered all your bases. Yes. You know, because this is where it starts, right? Yeah. Yeah, little, little peanuts, yep. And so the little kids, when they get to go to the football game with mom and dad, they get to say, hey, and you know that guy, right? <laughs> Unbelievable. And then the track's right here accessible too. Yeah. Weight room track, it's all right here, one-stop shop. Yeah. Incredible. Cleveland, Tennessee, it's a little nicer than Cleveland, Ohio. Yeah.